I'm observing with a mm, very tiny uh, 50 millimeter objective lens telescope. It's a, it's a telescope which came with a moon globe. What this is what we uh, astronomers, uh, amateur astronomers, who are in YouTube and magazines and access to the media they have. They call it. Uh, department store or supermarket kind of telescope snobbing it as a useless piece of junk um, what I found is that okay a lot of parents don't have any anything better than this uh, accessible to them and uh, especially in the many countries that uh, people are not really rich or uh, mm, they're not knowledgeable for this that's the starting point when you attach it with a Vixen uh, adapter, Vixen dovetail, one of those ones that you can actually attach it to the camera tripod, and you can attach it on the altazimut mount like that. It's quite actually capable telescope in a way. You can see the moons of the Jupiter. I've not seen the cloud belts, especially now that the, the actual clouds on the Earth are blocking my view. But I may try it for further later to see if I can observe the cloud belts with this. Um, it's quite wide angle. This is a seven and uh, three hundred fifty millimeter focal length and uh, fifty millimeter objective, so that makes it f seven. It's quite wide angle. And this is the specifications of this uh, telescope, astronomical telescope. Diameter 50 millimeter focal length 350. There, I can't believe it. It has a rack and pinion. <laughs> this is a luxury. It has a rack and pinion focuser and nice uh, diagonal. Or oh, did I add this diagonal myself? Yeah, I think I added this diagonal myself. But anyway, it, or oh, is it the one that it came with? I'm not sure. Anyway, and Original eyepiece of it was 9mm, which was quite wide angle. So I think when this is an honest telescope, it says 50mm, that's 50mm exactly the aperture. And inside it, has, I can see at least two baffles, three and four, three. Of course, this flash highlights a lot of, you know, dust or something. When you look uh, with normal eye, without camera, but with a flash, you don't see those things. It's highlighting all of this. This camera's push the image you know, really processing heavily. And this is the way it looks. 350 millimeters, so a little bit more than the focal length of it is a little more than one foot. But uh, considering that this bend is here, it must be around 10 centimeters. So I think the length of it is not nothing more than 30 centimeters. Quite compact. Uh, in my experience, even the best uh, telescopes, when you use the star diagonal, they show some chromatic aberration. I've seen many of them like that. So I wonder if I remove this and just use a, you know, remove the star diagonal, use the extension tube to reach focus. Uh, that will be actually more clear, so I may be able to see cloud tops with this, Jupiter's cloud tops. So I may try it when next time this is clear. At the moment... This is what we have. Jupiter. Disciple. Imagine if you wanted to, you know, do some astrophotography. The moment you set up your finger and then reach the stage that you want to make sure that your telescope is connected to Wi-Fi, is always it was clouded. So astrophotography really <laughs> is is not is not possible in these conditions. Okay, this is the tiny telescope I was talking about. It has a diagonal has all the you know diagonal attachment focuser uh, rack and pinion focuser which is really quality you can tighten it or loosen it up i have added this vixen thing so the adapter here which attaches to originally a tripod of its own you can actually uh, it, it's it's a general uh, you know generic uh, uh, screw fit so you can actually attach any Vixen or anything that actually uh, can be attached to a camera tripod 
use it with that. So this is really good in that sense. It has a cap and uh, yeah, there's a tiny telescope for using when you, it's just nothing more than a binocular practically. <laughs> well, but probably better than whatever Galileo or, uh, you know, uh, Simon Marius could ever have, Heveliot and others. So let's just see if I can remove this uh, diagonal and attach a kind of adapter to this extension tube to bring it to focus. So this is my extension tube. If I, yeah, can attach this here. Then if I attach my eyepiece here and that is the way that it looks now. I've attached the uh, extension tube and this is the eyepiece. And I will try next time when it is clear. So just to see, just for the sake of fun. That's the box of my Japanese eyepieces. There's just a few of them. And uh, yeah, it looks like a real telescope. Um, it has a diagonal even. <laughs> so that's real telescope. <laughs> it's tiny, but it's a real telescope. It has everything that a real telescope has. So in the morning, I just uh, waked up and tried to, you know, um, uh, take a video of the moon. This is the with the 20 millimeter Kellner Japanese style eyepiece. I'm looking also through the telescope. Um, the contrast in the sky was naturally low, but you can see a lot of craters actually. If you uh, visually, you see more details than holding the camera against. Always is the same. So this is what I could do in a. In a few minutes that I was able actually to hold the camera and just take the uh, and I chose the best parts to put in this video.